what is up guys welcome back to my channel i'm tatiana if you guys are new here and today we're doing a little bit of a vlog i just got home from home goods and i found some goodies for the nursery i've been absolutely obsessed with my nursery i've just been sitting in here and living in here so i want to show you guys kind of what i have going on so far but i don't want to give i don't know i guess i won't give it all away because i do want to do like a full nursery tour for you guys and like do a big reveal but i do want to show you like what i've kind of been getting and you can kind of see like what's going on there's some stuff that i'm changing like this bed is gonna go and i'm going to get a smaller one instead sorry if my voice is a little different i just am getting over a cold um i'm like i'm through my cold but like for some reason my throat is still my voice is still a little wacky so bear with me but i want to show you guys what i picked up today i am so excited okay let me just show you because these are the baskets i'm obsessed obsessed there is one size bigger but they didn't have it and i will continue to look for it but i just love it so much like extra blankies and all of his toys and all of that good stuff will go in there I'm so obsessed. Like, it's like the perfect baby basket, I feel like. And they're white and neutral. And then I picked up this little guy. This is not for you. Not for you. No, no, it's not for you. Because his legs kind of dangle. So I specifically wanted him to hang from the bookshelf. And these bookshelves are so cute. I think I'm going to get them or paint them black, though because I do want little accents of black, but he fits perfectly right there. And what I love the most is that the little feet hang, they like dangle. So that's exactly, exactly what I wanted. I also picked up how cute is this little set. This was a um, TJ Maxx slash Home Goods, which is the worst combo because I just get, I could be in there for hours and hours and hours. Look how stinking cute this little sweatsuit is with the ears. I had to get that, that was so cute and it was only 10 bucks. And then I picked up some books. I love getting books, the baby books from Home Goods. They're so cheap, look, this was like 3 dollars Mary had a little lamb, green eggs and ham, the giving tree and all oh, the places you'll go. I love this one, I don't have it, do I? No, I don't. Oh my God, I do, damn it. Okay, we have to return this. I have it in a different one, but okay. I just love all the Dr. Seuss books so much, so they're all great prices. And then I just got a new um, bath rug for his bathroom. And then I found this lampshade. I love this lampshade. It is so big and round, which is what I wanted. Um, I have this lamp right here, and not only do I not like it being a square? It has like this lining inside, which makes it so, 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 so dark. So I wanted to, you know, get a new lampshade and I wanted something really big and round. This is not the biggest thing, but whatever. It's 18 by 18 and I love the texture of it. So I'm good with that. Some other stuff that came in, I ordered these crib sheets from Pottery Barn Kids. I love them. I'm kind of going to have like a Winnie the Pooh theme. Um, I don't really have a theme, but if I were to say there was going to be a theme, I think it'd be a little bit of a Winnie the Pooh theme. So this is the first sheet. I love the Pottery Barn quality. They're just really nice. This one, it says, what could be sweeter than snuggles? And then it just a little poo bear. And I like it because it's minimal, but it's still very child, like very welcoming, you know, and kids. It's not just plain white because I was just going to get plain white. And then I got this one here too, and it's just Winnie the Pooh. Everything, which I love. This one as well. That's all I picked up today. Tomorrow I'm actually on my way to Chicago um, to meet my husband because he's there for a business trip. And I'm going to take advantage and do a little bit of shopping there. I want to do some stroller shopping. 
I want to see like I want to go to the Disney store and see like what other Winnie the Pooh things I can incorporate without making it like a huge like a, I don't want it to be too childish you know what I mean like I don't know how to describe it the best like I want it to be obviously it's a kid's room it's my baby's room but I want it to be still like my style and I just don't want like cartoon everything I think and like that's just not my vibe so um obviously it's gonna be very kid friendly and like warm and welcoming and like calming but I just don't want like Winnie the Pooh absolutely everything like I want very classy pieces that are Winnie the Pooh like those sheets I think are so cute and I have like the matching blanket and um like the matching hooded, hooded towels and stuff like that. So like, and like little pieces like this, like this I found at Home Goods, and it's an elephant, but it's like, it's a cute little elephant, you know? And it's super, super, super cute and obviously like child friendly, but then I've incorporated it with other things that make it seem and feel still like aesthetically pleasing and like adult, you know? <laughs> And yeah, I think that's all for today. Let's, I'll see you in Chicago. Hello, we are in Chicago. It is a, I like to say it's a beautiful little like rainy, windy day. I love being in Chicago because it's so much cooler than it is in Indy. And I get to wear my raincoat, so I'm wearing a little raincoat, the bumps here, some shorts and rain boots. And I'm so excited to go like shopping. I have my umbrella and I'm just gonna go around town. Let me show you my view, it's pretty insane. We are, I don't know exactly where we are in town of Chicago, but it's stunning, the whole water view is over there. But yeah, we're going shopping now. I am going to hit up Galt Baby, it's G-A-L-T Baby. Um, they have like apparently everything and all the strollers and all the things, so I really wanna go down there. And then to the Disney store, um, from the Disney store, I really want to get like Winnie the Pooh stuff. I'm so excited. And um, yeah, a whole bunch of other things. I might stop for a few other extra things myself. So let's go. I am such a city girl. I don't know. I, well, I do know why. I grew up and was born and raised dead in the center of the city. So I am loving this. What a fail. I didn't find anything baby. That Galt baby was closed, but it did look like it was a good store. Um, Bloomingdale's had absolutely nothing. They had like the tiniest corner um, for baby and it was so crap. And, and then I went to the Disney store and they were out of the Winnie the Pooh bath set and they barely had anything Winnie the Pooh. I, they didn't even have like a Winnie the Pooh stuffed animal. So I just went to H&M. I'm literally sweating because I went in the trench coat and it was, it's way too hot. It's so humid now. But I picked up some Nando's and I'm on my way home now. Like my parking was the most expensive thing that I bought today. What is up guys? We are back in the nursery in Indy. We went to Chicago. Chicago was kind of a bust. I'm not gonna lie. It we went and I went to see the strollers. I did actually go and see all the strollers and I am dead set on one. I'm pretty sure we're gonna do the Upper Baby, Upa Baby Vista and I just wanted to see the colors and compare it to a couple of the other ones because I was between the Bugaboo and the Nuna, but mostly the Bugaboo and the Upper Baby. So we did go and see them and I like had my husband film this whole thing and then it turns out he wasn't even recording. So, <laughs> um, whatever, I didn't marry a YouTube or Instagram husband, so it's fine. But yeah, and then I went to the Disney store. They were out of like everything Winnie the Pooh, so I had to order all of the things that I wanted online anyways, which is super annoying, but it is what it is. And that was it, we did some shopping and spent some time but I didn't do anything like baby related. So we're home now and I just got home from a long day of shopping and I went to Hobby Lobby and I wanna show you guys 
these boxes that I found. They are so, so stinking cute and they're just wood. They're unfinished wood. So you can finish them in whatever color. And I think I'm gonna do them in the same blue as the wall so that they're all monochrome and they look amazing. There is a smaller one that I'm gonna pick up as well, but they didn't have that one at that store. So I have to go to another store and pick it up. And then I did replace these with the black and I love them so much better. So my little nook is really coming together. But I'm obsessed with these boxes. I mean, they'll be good for putting like his little toys. I, feel, I can see like his little cars and stuff, like, you know, just his toys and stuff going in there and they're a magnetic clothes as well. What else did I do? I went to Ikea and I got like the Ikea high chair. I'll put a picture in here. It's all the way in the kitchen right now, but it's like the high chair and I snagged it before it was gone because usually it's always sold out. And I mean, it's like $20 and I've heard from all the moms that it's like the high chair to get. So if you are in the market for a high chair, then I really recommend the Ikea one. It comes with a tray for $20 and it's just plastic. It's clean. I mean, easy to clean and it's like sleek and neutral. So I love it. Um, what else? I got a baby box in today, like a welcome baby box. So I, so I registered with baby list um, I highly, highly, highly recommend you registering with Babylist and because you can add um, things from any store ever, you don't have to just pick it, stuff from one store like I know from Bye Bye Baby. It's just, it's just stuff from Bye Bye Baby. Babylist is just so easy and they send you a box in the mail. You just got to pay for shipping and 60 days before your due date, you get 15% off the entire Babylist store. So I did, I went ahead and registered with Babylist and that is my main registry, but I also kind of cheated and I registered with Bye Bye Baby and Amazon as well. So with Amazon, again, same thing, you get 15% off your registry, like the completion 60 days before, and um, they also send you a welcome box and that one's completely free. The Bye Bye Baby registry, again, you get 15% off um, 60 days before your thing. So I'm just taking advantage of all of the things. So I wanted to mention my registry because there are very, there are so many things that I'm doing to save and strategically buy everything that I need for this baby coming. I know babies can be so, so, so expensive and we just want all of it, right? We want to do the most for our chat for our children and buy everything so we feel prepared and all of that. So what I've been doing is literally making a list and Bye Bye Baby sends you like a 20% off coupon like every week and I'll buy one thing that I need, um, whether it be on my registry or not. And go ahead and sign up for all of the registries. Like I signed up for Babylist, Bye Bye Baby, and Amazon, and I kind of fibbed on my registry due date on Amazon just a little bit because I wanted the discount earlier, which I mean, I'm still, the baby's still coming, so it's not like it's a huge deal, but I found the stroller that I want on Amazon, so not only do I get the 15% off completion, um, discount. So I get 15% off the stroller. Plus if you guys have an Amazon um, credit card, you get the 5% cash back like towards rewards. So it's almost like a $200 savings when it comes down to it. And so I'm thrilled. And again, just with Bye Bye Baby, I've been using the coupons and eventually I think there is a limit with each registry. I think you can purchase up to like $2,000, I believe, on Amazon or on Babylist. And I feel like there's a lot of stuff to buy. So having the, the I'm sorry, having the discount on multiple places helps so much. Like for example, the Docatot that everybody has and everybody wants, that they don't sell it on Babylist. 
um, the baby list store, but they do sell on buybybaby.com and they do sell on Amazon. So I would be able to purchase that if you know it doesn't end up getting gifted to me on my registry, which I don't expect a lot. I'm like having very small showers. Um, I don't expect to be gifted that. I will purchase that with my discount. So just little things like that, slowly, 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 I've been doing that and then trying to find other things like on eBay, like my Snoo. I found a completely brand new, never opened box Snoo for $1,000 on eBay when I know if I were to buy it from the store or even with a discount, like the 15% off discount, I would not have saved over $600 on the snoo like I did with eBay. So definitely check out eBay if you are looking for anything. I know they have so many, so many things. They have the outlet little sock thing that I'm obsessed with that I really want. They have pumps. Again, with pumps, actually your insurance, if you have insurance, should cover it. I know the LV and the Willow, I'm pretty sure are part of the insurance deal now. So the next time I go to my OBGYN appointment, I will be asking for a prescription for my pump and then hopefully getting it. I think you have to wait until you're like 20 something weeks and yes, it should be completely free with your insurance, which is amazing because I know the LV is the one I want and it's like $500. So there are so many things and just ways that you can like coupon it and get the discount and get all of that stuff and get everything you need. So let me show you what I got in my box today. There isn't a ton of stuff. There are a ton of coupons. Um, they sent me bottles, which um, I have no idea which bottles my son is gonna love. So I'm glad that I have samples of a bunch. The Advent bottle was one of them. They sent me a thing of formula. Some diapers, I got the Huggies, I got some Honest Wipes, Pampers, Sensitive Wipes, Pampers, Pampers, <laughs> the diapers, um, a sample of this detergent. I already use really clean detergent, so I feel like I didn't need to buy a baby detergent, but I think I'm still going to go for a bottle of this and C, because they also gave you a discount uh, coupon for the detergent. Use all of the coupons, honey. I got some nipple cream samples. Um, this is like the baby shampoo. This is the noodle, noodle and boo. Apparently like this is like the really, really good one. And this is the newborn lotion sample and thing. A pacifier. Oh, I didn't mention in that first, there's a pacifier inside they gave me as well. This is the MAM, I think, and then this is the Advent. I'm just trying to collect all of the bottles so I can have like one of every. And then also with Babylist, they have a Babylist um, bottle box, which lets you sample like, I think, five to seven different types of bottles to see which one you prefer and then as well goes with the pacifiers they have a whole bunch of different pacifiers that you can purchase for like $25 in a sample box and then see which one works the best for you and your bub and then this little Burt's Bees onesie which is just so adorable so cute neutrals thank you and then some stretch mark cream that's about the gist of it and then literally like too many coupons for me to even handle. So I'm super happy with that. All I had to do was pay for shipping and handling, which was just about $5. So I'm not mad about it. I got some really great stuff and I'll be able to sample and try a lot as well. And um, Amazon's box is coming in the mail and I'm really excited about that one too. Another thing I've been getting up to is making a painting for my son. I think it's so special and I used to paint and draw all the time, all the time, and I just kind of fell out of it. But I'm back on it. Guys, don't, don't. It's this Winnie the Pooh painting. So I'm still working on it. I have to do the background and I have a canvas for it. And I'm repurposing 
one of the canvases that I originally bought from Ikea like four years ago and it's just literally a picture of the Eiffel Tower um, and it's not baby friendly at all. It's like black and white Eiffel Tower. So I'm repurposing that canvas and I'm doing this Winnie the Pooh. So it'll be a huge portrait of Winnie the Pooh in the bathroom. So I did mention that Winnie the Pooh is like the theme. And I also ordered the Winnie the Pooh bath toys. But yeah, I am feeling amazing. I have so much energy, which I'm taking advantage of. We are 24 weeks today and I'm just trying to get this nursery in order. I ordered my changing table or pad today because I got emailed another coupon from Bye Bye Baby. So I'm super proud of myself. There hasn't been one thing that I bought full price so far. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna finish this painting. I really wanna finish it today and get it up on the wall hopefully today too. So I will definitely keep you posted on everything baby and everything nursery and I can't wait to show you guys the full reveal. It won't be for a little while because I still have quite a bit of work to do to this room, but the fundamentals are done. The foundation is done. And I hope you guys like it so far, like sneak peeks of it. I will show you a before and after. It's literally crazy um, how different it looks in here and how inviting and, and warm and welcoming it is. So I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. God bless each and every one of you and I will see you in my next one.